Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto here. Uh, we're gonna do the oil change on a transmission on M8 Softail. Um, it's pretty simple. You can do this. I'll show you which drain plug to pull out and where to put the new oil in. Let's get to it. Now, next, we're gonna wanna remove the transmission drain plug. That is this drain plug right here. For reference, this is the uh, engine oil drain plug. This right here is the back of the motorcycle. So, going to take a 5.8 socket. Doesn't seem to want to go on there. A lefty Lucy that sucker on out of there. Now be ready. Be ready because as soon as you pull this drain plug out, oil's coming out. So have your drain pan ready to slide underneath it. There we go. And one quart of oil should be draining right on out of there. Now as the engine oil drains, it's a good chance to take a look at your drain plug here. You can see this little magnet on here, and this should pick up metal shavings. There's not much on here, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna wipe this clean, wipe everything off of here. And then we'll put a new drain, new O-ring on the drain plug, and then reinstall the drain plug once the oil is done draining. Next thing you wanna do is reinstall the transmission pan drain plug. And of course, and you're going to want to torque this to 14 to 21 foot pounds. Now, in order to get to the transmission fill plug, you have to take off your side cover. This takes a 532nd Allen wrench and just lefty loosey these two screws right on out of here. Set those in a safe location. Then from there, you should be able to grab this thing and pull it off. There's a little rubber grommet here that comes off over a stud here. You may not be able to see the stud, but I swear to you it's there. But as you pull it off of there, that little rubber grommet should come right off. The next thing you're going to do is just lift this little plastic piece up and out of here. This plastic tab sits in this slot down here. You can set that off to the side. Then you're gonna to wanna to wipe all the dirt off from around the fill plug because we don't wanna accidentally get dirt in there when we take the fill plug out. Now after that, you can take our 3 8 Allen wrench and loosen that up and then spin the fill plug right on out of there. Should be able to lift that up out of there and of course, there is the drain plug, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the dipstick. And as you can see, our oil level is still good. That's good, it means we don't have any leaks. So we're gonna set that in a clean location. And then we will get a filter and refill it with our one quart of oil. Now we're ready to fill the transmission oil. So you have your bag of oil or container. You may wanna use a funnel or with these soft bags, you can just put it right down in there. Make sure it's actually in there. Give it a slow squeeze. Slowly drain all of that, whole, that entire quart of oil into your transmission. And it takes one quart of oil. Check your service manual. I'm not telling you which way to oil to use. Or ask in the comments. I'll argue with you over it. Now once that's on there, once that's filled, Take your dipstick, reinstall it, or at least spin it all the way down with your fingers. Make sure it's not cross-threaded. And with that, we can check our oil. We're sitting right at the fill mark. We're good to go. Tighten that up with a 3 8 Allen wrench. Just snug it up. It's plastic. Don't kill it. 
from there, you can reinstall this little plastic thing of a jigger. So the tabs go back in there by my pointy finger. And then the bottom part goes down in the little slot. And from there, reinstall the side cover first onto the rubber grommet. Then take your bolt and washer. Snug both those up. You're ready to go ride.